Welcome to the John Belcher podcast. Welcome to podcast number two. In this podcast, we're going to be discussing how to create momentum in your business. Uh, It really doesn't matter what kind of business you're in. Uh, This is a law that holds true in any type of business that you're trying to really take off and reach the next level with in income, reach the next level in customers, reach the next level in clients. And I know this is true because I actually tested, tested this out for myself and I saw it work and manifest in my life firsthand. So I'm not just bringing up this and talking about this as a secondhand experience. This is something that I primarily experienced myself. Uh, and, and, you know, I like to uh, relate business and life to nature, you know, and I say if you want to understand business and you want to understand life more, get more connected with nature and start to observe nature more not only nature but also things you know even materialistic things because whether something is alive or not everything has a certain energy to it everything has a certain consciousness to it uh as everything is made up of molecules even me and you we're made up of molecules and we all have a certain energy to us and that means that we're all connected in some way shape or form so in this audio i'm not really going to be talking too long Uh, It's going to be a relatively short audio, so make sure to listen to the very end. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive more videos just like this one. But we're going to go in for it, right? So the other day, I was just driving and I was just thinking to myself. I was like, you know, I was driving on the way to my friend's house uh, who's also in business as well. And, you know, sometimes we just meet up and we mastermind and we talk about different plans. We talk about different strategies, how we want to what we want to do next in the business to get the results that we want. And I recommend that. That's number one. I recommend uh, getting around people who think like you or getting around people who are in a similar business or do something similar to what you're doing, because you'll be able to feed off of that energy in a positive way. And that also helps you to build a lot of build a lot of momentum in your business. So that's really where you are, right? You're in a place in your business where you want to speed up the results. You want to get more traction. You want to see more leads coming in. You want to see more traffic being generated. You want to see more things and activity going on in your business. And in order to do that, what you got to understand is you have to understand how energy works. And I'm not some super expert at understanding energy, but over the last two years, I've really been studying this concept of energy and how it relates to success and how it relates to manifesting your goals and manifesting your dreams and manifesting what you want to occur in your life. And as I was on the highway, I was driving and I was doing about 60, 70 miles per hour. And I'm like, you know, what's so weird is that when I'm on the highway, even when I'm going like longer distances, I tend to burn less gas as opposed to when I'm driving locally. You know, and, you, and some of you on this call, you probably experienced this in your car. Uh, and this is definitely true when you're driving like a truck. Like I got a truck and, you know, trucks tend to drink gas. So I was like, wow, you know, I'm in the car right now. This car is, obviously has energy to it, which is why it's moving, which is why it's in motion. And this energy, I can press on the brake to slow down the momentum of this energy or I can slightly rest my foot on the gas and keep this energy going at 60 70 miles per hour you say how does this relate to business well the way that it relates to business is because the times in the past when i was undergoing depression and basically my income had started to deplete in a certain business that i was in uh you know it was a rough situation you know and a lot of that rough situation that I dealt with was because number one I was all over the place so my energy was basically dispersed in too many different avenues I was trying to do too many different things at one time and when you're trying to do too many different one things and you do too many different things at one time in your life or in your business your energy is like basically you're not giving your all to one thing And what that causes is it causes a lack of momentum and it causes a lack of you building your business at the rate in which you want to build it. Because if I'm here and I'm trying to focus on 10 different things at one time, instead of just focusing on one thing at a time before seeing results, well, that won't lead to to good results, right? So I'm going to tell you how to create momentum in your business. And I'm also going to relate it to the car ride that I had the other day. 
So I'm like, wow, it's so amazing how I'm driving and, you know, I'm driving at 60, 70 miles per hour and I'm not burning that much gas, but yet I'm going a further distance, yet I'm going a higher speed as opposed to stop and go traffic. Now, when you're in stop and go traffic, you tend to burn more gas. You know, when you stop at a red light, you stop at a stop sign. Uh, you know, and, and you keep on, you know, you keep on stopping the car's energy and you keep on, then you have to regain the car's energy as you accelerate. The car has to take that much more energy to get to the speed at which it was before. And I hope, I hope that this is making sense. So the reason why the car, when you're driving a car, it burns less gas when you're already on the highway doing, you know, 60, 70 miles per hour is because once you're at that certain speed and you continue to go at that certain speed not needing to break not needing to slow down much not needing to come to a stop it takes less energy for that car to exert to move and that's like you in your business that's like you in your life right when you think about it when you're taking action every single day in your business you get used to taking that action every single day in your business and then you allow the momentum to build in your business. But the problem is if you're too focused on why am I not getting sales yet? Why am I not getting new leads yet? Why am I not getting new clients yet? You're losing your energy and focusing on the wrong things. You're too hung up on the results instead of becoming a non-resistant person. A non-resistant person is basically a person who's taking action on a daily basis. They're building the momentum through their action taking and they're detaching from the results. They're not wondering when this next sale is gonna come. They're not too hung up on, oh man, why I didn't make the money I wanted to make today. And I'm not saying not to be ambitious. I'm not saying not to go after your dreams. I'm not saying not to be a persistent person. I'm not saying not to take action. But what I am saying is that there's a way to do things in a way where you save more of your energy, but you get more results. And that's what this is all about. When you talk about creating momentum in your business, You're basically talking about getting to a state in your business in which it doesn't take you as much energy to get more results. So you say, how do you do that, John? How do you get to a point where you create more and more momentum in your business and still get more results using less of my energy? Well, the way that you do that is you got to have a strategy and it doesn't have to be a super complex strategy. It just has to be a daily strategy that you can take action on each and every day in your business to get measurable results, right? Measurable results doesn't mean you're going to get the exact same results every day, but you know that if you do this from Monday through Friday, that by the end of the week, you'll be able to see that you've gotten results from Monday through Friday overall, right? It doesn't mean that on Monday, you got the same exact amount of results as Tuesday or Wednesday, right? Like you may have gotten the most results on Wednesday. You may have gotten the most results on Thursday and Friday. But all in all, when you average out the work that you've put in for that week of Monday to Friday, you'll see like, wow, it didn't take you that much energy to get the results you want. And I used to struggle with this for a long time in my business, being too harped up on the results, being too hung up on Oh man, why well, I'm not making the income I want to make yet? You know, it's like it's just it's, it, you know, it takes a while for us to realize that it's a law of nature that there's cause and effect, and what goes around comes around. And as long as you're giving in the marketplace and you're valuable in the marketplace, something has to come back to you. Some type of result has to come back to you. Some type of good deed has to come back to you because you've been putting out all those good deeds. You've been doing such a good job providing value and becoming more valuable to your community, becoming more valuable to your family, becoming more valuable to your friends, becoming more valuable to your prospects, becoming more valuable to people in the world. So it's just like the car, when I was driving the car, you gotta keep a steady pace of taking action in your business. Doesn't have to be a complex strategy, doesn't have to be rocket science, doesn't have to be something where you're doing something that's not you, that's against your personality. Everything that you do in your business can be in line with your personality. It can be a simple strategy. It can be a a straightforward strategy and still get you to get maximum results on average. On average is the key word, right? And that's how you create momentum in your business. And you're going to start to see momentum in your business as soon as you detach and you become non-resistant to the path that you're on. Because really and truly, the universe wants to give you every last thing that you desire, Everything that your heart desires, the universe wants to give it to you. Literally. 
It doesn't matter what car you want. It doesn't matter what house you want. It doesn't matter what relationships you want, what type of situation you want. It doesn't matter if you want to move, if you want a new place. The universe knows what you want. The universe knows exactly where you are because everything is a vibrational energy. And if everything is a vibrational energy, what that basically means is that as long as you continue to give out that positive vibrational energy, that good feeling vibrational energy, it has to return to you in, a, in, in the same way in the reciprocated, right? It's reciprocated to you in the same way. So when it comes to creating momentum, it's about you staying at a steady pace. Think about when you go to the track or when you're running on a treadmill or something like that. Now, you know, when you're sprinting, you're purposely exerting as much energy as possible on purpose. But when you're going and and, and what does that cause? When you're sprinting, you basically your stamina depletes faster, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it just so happen that when you're sprinting, you lose energy quicker, you get tired quicker? But think about when you're running at a steady pace. When you're running at a steady pace and your body is trained to run at a steady pace, what happens is your body is trained to run at a steady momentum. And, if, and because it's trained to run at a steady momentum, you now can cover more distance. You can cover more ground. You can cover more feet. You can get to further places using the same energy the whole way through. So think about that for a second. And you can apply this to your business as well. Just like I use, you know, the car, you know, me driving my car and using less gas, less energy while on the highway, but yet I'm still going a further distance. Well, that's because the car doesn't have to exert so much energy trying to keep the same pace at which it's at already. But let's say I stop at a stop sign or a stoplight, I have to take that car to zero miles per hour, and then I have to take that car back from zero miles per hour back to the, to the, uh, speed in which I want to go to again and that that acceleration process of going from not moving not taking any action at all to getting to a pace a place of taking action and moving you know in a consistent at a consistent pace that takes a lot more energy doesn't it so what I'm trying to say is that you have to take action at a at a pace in your business The times when I had the least amount of results were times when I wasn't taking much action in my business. And me not taking action in my business somehow transpired into me losing my self-esteem and my self-confidence and my power that was already within me. Because even if I'm not getting much results, as long as I'm taking action, I feel accomplished. I feel good. You see, the glory and 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 the greatness in your business is not so much in the result. It's more so in the action. It's more so in the process. It's just like if I wanted to bake a cake right now, right? And I made a cake and I, and I served you a piece of that cake and you love the cake, you love the taste of that cake. You said, wow, this cake is phenomenal. And you asked me, John, how did you make it? And I said, well, and I told you that I made it from scratch and I just put it in the oven. That wouldn't help you too much, right? <laughs> that information wouldn't help you learn how to make the cake because you're like, all right, you just, you made it from scratch, you put it in the oven. But you also need to know what were the ingredients? What went into making the cake? Did you make it sit for a certain amount of time? What was the temperature of the stove? You get what I'm saying? So the result is the cake that tastes good. But however, what made this cake taste so good is a certain process. It's a certain amount of ingredients. It's different ingredients that went into creating this result of of a great tasting cake. So what I want you to understand is that every last thing that you want, everything that you desire, that burning desire that you have within you has to be matched with you detaching yourself from the result that you want. Keep the result in mind. Keep whatever you want in mind. Keep the goal in mind. But you move at a steady pace to create the momentum that you want in your business, in in your life. You got to move at a steady pace. So and it takes less energy to get more results when you're moving at a steady pace. When you have something every single day that you can follow, a com- you know, a strategy, a guideline, a s- step-by-step thing you could do each and every day to generate new leads, get new customers, get new prospects, get new people being a part of your business, being a part of your team, your organization, buying your service, whatever. It holds true. This law holds true no matter what you're talking about. No matter what business I'm talking about, no matter what industry I'm talking about, if you plant seeds every single day at a consistent pace, something has to come back to you. 
something has to come back to you. And the more you take action every single day at a steady pace, the more it feels easier and easier and easier because your body and your mind gets used to the process. When you're used to the process, then you're knocking on the door of second nature, right? It becomes second nature. You don't have to tell yourself to get up anymore early in the morning. You don't have to tell yourself to get passionate anymore. You don't have to basically warm yourself up so much to, to stay at the momentum you're at when you're consistently taking action. But when you're at a point in your business and you're taking weeks off, you're taking days off, not taking the right action for months at a time, you know, for a long time, you're not taking action, you lose that momentum. And it takes so much more energy to get back into the groove of things again. You know what I'm saying? So be sure to go to workwithjohnbelcher.com. Check out my website, read my blog, share it with others and get money. (laughs) Read my blog, share it with others and get money. Workwithjohnbelcher.com. And you could check in the training products section, the training products tab. If you click on the menu button of my, my website, you'll be able to see how you can work with me. How you can work with me in business and learn strategies and learn different ways of le- generating leads online uh, and generating the money that you want to generate online. But you got to understand that making money online and making money in your business or anything that you're trying to sell or anything that you're passionate about turning into a paycheck, you have to understand that there's a, there's a process to doing it. And once you discover that process, you've literally discovered the keys to unlock your financial freedom. Because you're biz- you're, you got to understand that you don't have to exert more and more and more and more energy. The only way you have to exert more and more and more energy is when you're dissatisfied with where you are, where you're unhappy with where you are. Because you think that you have to have accomplished your goal to be happy. You may think that you have to make the money that you want to be making to be happy. Why? Why not be happy now? Why not feel like you've accomplished your goals now? So John, you're telling me to act like as if I already have everything I already I want as if as if, as if it's already here? Um yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you got to be moving, acting, behaving, talking in a way as if you've already accomplished everything you've always wanted to accomplish in your life without doubting anything, without fearing anything, without second guessing yourself. And that's how the universe is literally going to give you every last thing that you want, every last thing that you desire, every last thing that you've been imagining in your mind's eye, understanding that I am and I can accomplish, I can achieve, I can overcome, I can supersede, I can improve. So the only way to create that momentum that you want is to have a daily action plan that doesn't make you exert way too much energy. A daily action plan, a very simple daily action plan that you can take action on every single day, which is basically you planting seeds in your garden every single day. Because you got to understand, like just like nature, there's a time to plant seeds and then there's a time to reap harvest, right? There's a time to plant seeds and there's a time to reap your harvest. But the harvest has to come following you planting the seeds. But you can't be one of those people who you plant that seed and you keep digging up that seed back from the dirt to check if the plant is there yet. Leave the seed alone. Continue to plant the seed. Continue to plant the seed. Continue to take action. Continue to move at the pace you want to move at. Continue to stay in the flow, in the momentum, at the pace. Continue to stay in that because you don't have to get ready when you're prepared already. Stay prepared so you don't have to get ready. And then your moment is going to come. Your moment to shine is going to come. It's well on its way. So I just wanted to share this message with you. Like I said, this is not going to be, this wasn't going to be too long of a audio, right? In the John Pelcher podcast. This is podcast number two. I just want to share these nuggets with you and, and this information and understand that, you know, listen to this, listen to this audio about two to three times until it really, really gets embedded and sinks into your mind. And you understand that just like a car, just like the energy of a car, When you're moving at a certain pace and you consistently move at a certain pace every single day, it doesn't take much energy to get the results that you want. But also in the same breath, you got to detach from the result. You can't be so hung up on the result because you're too resistant. The universe wants to give you everything, but you're too resistant of what it wants to give you. You're closing yourself off from the abundance and that's why it can't enter into your life. 
This is Jonathan Belcher. I'm going to see you on the next po- podcast. Like I said, www.workwithjohnbelcher.com. I'm going to see you later. I'm going to see you at the top. I wish you the utmost abundance, prosperity, success, happiness, and joy in your life. Peace out.